If fashion, fun, and unboxings are your jam, then stay tuned for this very first episode of Sweet Swag. <laughs> YouTube and welcome to my channel showgirl on the go where I talk about everything from mom life to showgirl life I am sweet D I'm a professional performer instructor and wellness practitioners for dancers today I have something super exciting that I've been planning for a long time and I'm really glad that I get to do it and it is my series called sweet swag today is episode one and we're gonna be doing an unboxing in sweet swag I'm gonna be doing unboxings and also product reviews so if you have any suggestions on things that you want me to try and you know all that fun stuff then comment down below and tell me about it because I'm always looking for for fun stuff uh, I would like to keep this uh, small business um, thrift kind of oriented but you know life happens and sometimes you gotta order from Amazon <laughs> so today I've got three items I'm really excited about an eyeshadow palette, a lipstick, and a gorgeous robe that I have been waiting a really, really long time to buy. <laughs> so let's not waste any more time and let's get started. All right, up first is a limited edition eye palette from Miss Fluff. Miss Fluff is a brand that was founded in 2002 and uses a variety of pinup and cartoon influence in her work. So she does everything from prints to t-shirts and pins and accessories and home decor and like all that fun stuff. But it is a very, very retro influenced, very pinup influenced, and I absolutely love her work. So when I discovered this palette on Instagram, I came across it by way somebody somewhere. <laughs> I totally had to have it. It just looked super cute and the colors are totally like... They totally scream D. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm really excited about this. Let's see. Cupcake Shadow. That's that's what it's called. It's got an ungodly amount of tape on here, so I might have to go get some scissors. So like unboxing fail 101 right <laughs> I thought I had my scissors next to me but I guess I did not have them kitty that's my kitty cat pepper all right we already have some cute a cute thank you card it says thank you I hope you will enjoy your goodies as much as I enjoyed creating them for you oh, I love stuff like this I put stuff like this in my office I have like a little board next to my desk and anytime I order from uh, a performer or a small business and they have those little thank you cards in them I totally put them on my board and this look at this cute little postcard oh, oh I love it I love it all right <clears throat> This little pink packaging, little bubble packaging. Da 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 da! Ooh, look how adorable! Oh my goodness! Oh, I love this cupcake dolls. That's the name of the palette, and. Look at those colors. I hope you can see that. Oh, it is gorgeous. I love the glitter. I'm a glitter fiend, okay? I love pressed glitter. I love chunky glitter. I am a definite product of the 90s when we had that like glitter in the eye situation happening. So I am definitely, definitely excited about this soda pop color right there and this mint frosting one up here here are the colors it's mint frosting sprinkles sugar dust lollipop dolly peach cotton candy cocoa fun fondue soda pop and sweet kisses such cute names oh my gosh I'm so excited about this super cute miss fluff everything will be linked down below and at the end of this video I am going to do a whole look with this palette so let's do our next one. 
Okay, up next is a lipstick I bought from a company called Beauty Cosmetics. Beauty Cosmetics. Uh, I, this, y'all, this whole company is like a vibe and a vibe that speaks to me. <laughs> Everything is glam and it's rhinestones and pink and tea parties with hats and gloves like <gasps> something I came across again on Instagram I really got to keep track of how I find these things but I came across on Instagram and I was like what is this so I have some notes right here that's why I keep looking off to the side it says beauty cosmetics and their tagline is cosmetics with a purpose so a portion of all their sales go towards their nonprofit organization called High Beauty Party. And this is straight from the website. Through our organization, we provide an abundance of education, captivating information, motivational tools, and charming professional strategies to any and all beauty professionals, leaders, and enthusiasts to save the beauty industry. So cool, I really, really like that. So go check them out. Again, everything will be linked down below. And the reason this caught my eye is because it wasn't basic. <laughs> I don't like being basic. I've been this way since I was a child. I always look for things that are just super unique, eye-catching, uh, you know, just, just kind of stand out. Here's another thank you. Thank you card. I love it. So cute. I mean, look at that pink little mirror there all right let's see packaging adorable super cute i feel like i'm playing hide and seek back here <laughs> super cute i love the little stamp on there oh i love these and it breaks my heart sometimes to break the seal <laughs> i ordered from a, a burlesque performer that stamps her her jewelry like that and it always crushes me Ooh, I didn't break it, so I might save it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look, that is lipstick, and it is a bow tie. Oh my gosh. I got the pink, of course, because why, why not? Full coverage, satin finish, hydration, and vitamin E. An elegant and wonderfully comfortable formula enriched with moisture, creaminess, and a supremely melting effect. Give a lovely feeling of hydration and protection that is retained for hours. Beautiful. All right. Take this puppy out. <clears throat> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. How cute, how adorable. <gasps> I already know I'm going to buy more stuff from this company. I, I just didn't want to go ham. <laughs> so I was like, I am balling on a budget, right? I am a showgirl on a budget. So I gotta save some for next time. But super cute, super, I'm gonna say that a lot, just FYI. Look at that shade of pink. It's like Barbie pink. I'm so excited about that. Do a little, little swatchy swatch. Gorgeous. Look at that color. Wow. I'm so excited to pair this with my Miss Fluff palette. It's just going to be a pink, pink a dream. <laughs> but look at that. It's glitter. It's a bow. Hell yes. Oh my gosh. All right. So that is from Beauty Cosmetics. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm totally butchering that, I apologize. But it's spelled B-E-A-U space T-I-E. And I think it's because that is the founder's name. Um, if I can remember correctly from the website. Super. That's like a, such an adorable um, name for the company. All right. So we got one more. I saved the most for last. Well, they're all pretty rad products, but I guess my bigger one for last. 
All right, let's get into this last, last unboxing. All right, let's get to our final unboxing. And I know I say this about everything, but I'm really excited about this. <laughs> so this is a robe, a satin robe that I got from Catherine Delish. If you're not sure who that is, uh, again, everything will be linked down below and you need to go check out all of her gorgeous, gorgeous robes. I got one, I want to say about four years ago as a Christmas present from my hubby. It is a beautiful, fluffy, pink robe. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll show you a picture right here. I'll insert a picture right here so you can take a look at it. And it is like one of my prized possessions. Like I just, it's on, I keep looking over in the corner because it's in the corner right now. <laughs> I have it on a, a dress form because it just accents my little room so well. It's just so pretty. It's a dressing gown. They're all considered like dressing gowns. But I've been wanting a satin one for quite some time. And I finally, finally got one. Here's the box. Love her signature. My husband actually got me one for Christmas, I want to say last year. I think it was last year or the year before. I think it was last year. Didn't fit. It was the wrong size. <laughs> so sad and devastated because he had bought it on sale and he was so excited to give it to me because I've been wanting one for a while and when I put it on it was like Ooh. <laughs> my I have really big shoulders and my arms are getting bigger because I've been in the gym um, so I have to get my my jackets and things a little bit bigger because it just my back and my shoulders are just like no, massive. <laughs> uh, and so I looked at the label and I was like, why did you buy a large or like whatever the, the size was? And he was like, I didn't. And so it was definitely a, you know, a mishap on their end. Was it like, I was sad. It wasn't a big deal. Like we returned it, but because it was on sale, they didn't have any more in stock and they weren't sure when they were going to get any more in stock. Uh, so I returned it and I was really sad and I didn't get to get my, have my robe. So I've been waiting patiently for another sale to happen. And so she just finished up her summer sale and I snagged this and I, I hope this one fits, <laughs> but we will find out. But, ooh, look at that. Ah! Oh my goodness. And it feels so good. I cannot wait to put this look together at the end of the video. I love the cuffs. The cuffs have rhinestones on them. And I opted to get this one. I think she's got some that don't have the sparkly cuffs like this, but of course I'm extra. So I was like, no, give me the rhinestone cuffs. <laughs> so yes, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Mm, yes. All right, so I'm gonna put together a glam look for you guys. So stay tuned. And this is the final look. What do you guys think? All right, so I used the Miss Fluff palette mixed with one shade from the James Charles Morphe palette because I wanted a deeper a deeper base to start with. This is the Beauty Cosmetics lipstick and then everything else was just kind of a mix of what I already had with some new products that I got from Ulta the other day. Some e.l.f. stuff, some Milani stuff, all that good stuff. These lashes are so extra. They look heavy but they're actually fine and I do need to trim them up a little bit but what are you gonna do? <laughs> so, and this is for my hair that's growing out and I can't really do much with it. So you always, always just add a big flower or a big bow. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Yay! So 
I did film the tutorial on how I did this and I will be uploading that later. It's just a quick like eye look. It's not like a full face or anything, but just in case you guys were curious, I did do that as well. So keep an eye out for that. But if you did like this video, go ahead and hit that little thumbs up. And if this is your jam and looking forward to more things like this, then hit that subscribe button. I'm going to link everything down below. And if I don't link something down below that I featured in my video, let me know in the comments and I'll help you out. I bought everything with my own money. Nothing is sponsored or gifted or promotion stuff, like none of that stuff, everything. I bought myself, saved up for, <laughs> and bought myself. All right, I'm feeling super glam. I really hate to take it all off, but you know, mom life calls. <laughs> you see my little, can you see the sparkling? Thank you guys so much for joining me and there, I know there's going to be some growing pains and everything with videos that you're brand new to doing so thank you so much for your patience and support and I will take any suggestions down below on how to do this whole YouTube thing. <laughs> Alright, have an awesome day and I will see you guys later. Bye!